In this movie, we're going to delve into grouping. We'll call it grouping part one, where we get into the fundamentals of the grouping function in Crystal. Using report two, the same report that we've been creating for these lessons, quickly reviewing, we chose division and office name for our two principal groups when we created the report. Grouping, you'll notice, has kind of a hierarchical function. This function makes sense in certain order. Obviously, the offices roll up into division, and division rolls up into the entire company. Now, Crystal will let you sort them and group them in any order you see fit. Whether you should or not, I'll leave that to you. Let's go ahead and click on the Design tab. This is where our rough report layout comes into play. Notice we have a group header 1, which is from the Office Table division field, and the group header 2 from the Office Table as well, but Office Name being the field. That dash A after each one means that they've been sorted in the default ascending. Now, groups can be swapped around, changed, added, deleted as you see fit. For example, if I want an office name ahead of division, I would simply drag my mouse over to group header 2, click and hold. Notice how the area becomes grayed out and a hand replaces the pointer. I can drag that up and notice the blue lines that follow me and release. Now my office name is ahead of office division. Let's go ahead and look at the preview. Now my drill down menu has also changed. For example, Arizona just has one division under it, which would always be West. Now, the good thing about Crystal is being a Windows-based product, before you save this report, if you hit Control-Z, it'll switch it back for you. Let's go ahead and hit the Design tab again. Now, grouping comes with a lot of options. It makes it a very flexible tool in Crystal. Go ahead and right-click the Group Header 2. We'll get our menu, and this time we're going to choose Change Group. This brings up the Change Group Options window. Notice we have office by office name, that's the field that we're choosing to group by, and this is the order in which we find it. Go ahead and click on the order. This is the list of choices that Crystal gives us for this type of field. We have ascending order, means alphanumeric, in descending order, alphanumeric, in specified order, which we'll delve into shortly, and in original order. Now, sometimes it's taken for granted that people assume a database is always in alphanumeric order. Unfortunately, usually that's not the case. It's usually in primary key order, if you will. Primary key is a unique number identifier the database uses to identify specific records occurring at a certain time, and it keeps the database in order as there can only be one of each. So, for example, if you chose in original order, if you were lucky, you'd probably get it in straight alphanumeric. However, if it's ordered by key, which is the database order, if you will, the order that makes sense to the database, you'd get something that's not quite all there. Usually, Ascending and descending are pretty safe bets. However, Crystal couldn't leave it at that. In fact, they developed something called specified order, which we're going to choose right now. When you choose this option, you get a new tab called specified order. Quickly, if you just want to choose the order in which the items are grouped on your report, you hit the drop down box and choose the option. So I'm going to choose Corporate HQ, Alaska. Charlotte. This tells me what I want to see first. For example, if I wanted Charlotte above HQ, I'd highlight Charlotte and hit the up arrow. If I wanted Corporate HQ, again, I'd highlight and hit the up arrow. Now that you've chosen what you want to see first, you have to deal with what's left. For example, if I click on the Others tab, I can discard all of them. That doesn't mean delete, it just means they won't show up on your report. I can put them all together with the name Others or whatever name I specify, or I can leave in their own groups. Now, you have to be kind of careful with these groups. If you have to do this just for a few special cases, it's not bad. But if you're forced to maintain specific groups, this can kind of become a manual and tedious task. Go ahead and press OK. And let's see the results of our handiwork. Go ahead and click the Preview tab. Let's go ahead and click West. Notice my Corporate HQ, my Arizona and Hawaii, now show up on the report. And on the eastern region, my Charlotte shows up first. Again, that is what we consider kind of a manual grouping as opposed to just finding what's in the database and grouping and by ascending or descending, or database order, you get to choose the order yourself. You can choose what shows up first, what's last. You can create a list a mile long if you feel like it. There are other options in groups too that we need to explore. So go ahead and click on the design view. Right click on office name, but also notice the name is now provided by a dash S, meaning it is in specified order. Go ahead and change group. Click on specified order 
and click on Corporate HQ. Now that that's highlighted, click on Edit. This brings up the Define Name Group window. This allows you to change the name of the group as you see fit. We'll call it Corporate Main. And then it gives you all these options. You can leave it is equal to, or is any value, is not equal to, is one of, is not one of, so on and so forth. In this case, let's fall back on the one we know and have covered in this course, is one of. This one allows you to choose from the drop-down box or even type in manually all the offices you like to see in a group called Corporate Main. Go ahead and press OK. Now you have to be careful if you've created a Uber group like Corporate Main manually and Charlotte or Alaska is in one of them, the first one that appears will win. Go ahead and press OK. If I click on the Preview tab, in the West Division, I have a Corporate Main. Again, these are groups that I've created myself. In the next lesson, we'll get into grouping by different types of fields.